Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I wanted to show you, I guess you could say it's my EDC setup with this uh, Leatherman sheath. Uh, I'm coming, uh, as first thing I'll mention is I'm coming from, this is the one that came with the Wave that I bought last year. I think now they all come with a uh, nylon or molly uh, sheath. So I, I like this leather one. This was cheap leather, but it held up, and at the time, it's always hard to pick up black on camera. Hopefully I can get a good enough view. You get this one uh, slide or little pouch area. And I put my uh, little, I think the Maglite Solitaire in that. And that was okay. But now I decided I wanted to start carrying a pen on me. Just, uh, I think for you, especially for at work, but it's helpful to have a pen on you at all times. So I wanted, really no way to fit another one. So I just wanted to get something else. This is the new one, and it came from Leatherman. If I can get all this on camera. And it's the four inch premium sheath, and it's very disappointing. It's even like, I knew that the quality of this like just doesn't feel or look like leather, but compared to this, it feels and looks like leather more than this feels and looks like leather. Uh, not that I really care too much, it was $15. But I mean, it's just like, like that doesn't, leather shouldn't really sound like hard and plasticky. Um, so I'm gonna complain about it a little bit. So I guess that's what we do right on the internet. Um, I, I really don't, I like that they give you versatility so you could put it on your belt this way, but I don't know who would do that. I mean, it is better than having it jabbing into your side, but with this type of deployment to the side, I, I don't think too many people are going to do that, but. Like uh, this is just strictly this way. But what I don't like is you can see these are the weak points here. I've only had this for about a week or two and I'm worried these are going to rip because I have seen on Amazon this is a common place for these to rip. And if it does, I'm going to be really disappointed. I'll have to try and figure out. I've seen other clips that uh, are made for, I guess maybe custom builds that are metal and they uh, you can press them, they're tension or spring loaded. And then I also have an old Night Eyes case that this doesn't fit my phone, so I have the bigger one. So I thought if worse comes to worse, maybe I, these are very durable. I could remove this out of here and somehow attach it if this breaks. So this is the only thing I'm worried about. In the comments, I'll let you know if this ever breaks and, th and then I have to figure out something. Uh, I do keep it in my pocket, so I don't always use this, but at work, I keep it on my belt for quick access. So I do think this one was designed better, at least as far as that goes. So I'm going to show the modifications. I might need some light. Hopefully that doesn't wash out the picture. You can see that I added a few things to it. And I put some foam to it as well. So when you get it, you're going to notice that this, now it pretty much closes where it should, but it, you really need to put a lot of foam to, because even though it's four inches and it says it's made for the wave, there's just so much wiggle room that it, would it looks like about like that with the button clasp or buckle held up the, where it should be. So I had to do a few things. I put my initials in it too, but I put, I keep a little bit of extra paper in there. I put a piece of foam here and then probably an inch worth down in there and it's hard to see. And, uh, so I made sure to be able to fit my old light in here, but the problem, I'm having trouble picking this up, is that these holes are pretty big, so this would just like fall right back out. So I just got some, I had an old paracord bracelet that I never wore. So I just cut some paracord and wrapped it in there just to fill it up. And then I figured just kind of for aesthetics, I thought, I have a fire starter, it'd be nice to carry one on me. And you can obviously use this to strike it. I decided to use this, put this little striking rod on the uh, end of the paracord so that way I don't have to worry about losing it. So it's attached to it and I just wrap this around, it just hangs loosely. Uh, if you had something else, you could probably put something else in here. This is really difficult to... You can kind of see, I made a little cutout to hold the flashlight more firm, and you can kind of see the that foam right there. 
I have like two or three pieces. And then for the pen, I made it to where it kind of holsters the pen because it would kind of kick out. Because I don't like with this holster, they make the, when you have something in here, it kind of protrudes the length of the bottom of the sheet. So that wasn't a good design. Why they didn't extend it out a little bit when they knew that they had two accessory slots, I don't know. But uh, again, this is all foam, so who knows how well this will hold up. But I like the design. So this is the type of foam I'm talking about. I just get it whenever you get like packages. Usually it's like electronics or things that they try to keep them in. Let's see if I can get some better light. Just stuff like that to stable. I don't keep like every piece I get, but I like to keep a sheet or two. And then I use it for stuff like this when I need to fill a gap or you know, something like that or add a little bit of protection. So that's what I do with this stuff. Uh, it depends how, I don't know what you'd say, how versatile or how much any resources you have. You could probably make something like this out of uh, maybe even wood, but it'd be a little more difficult. It wouldn't be as flexible. Or maybe you could even 3D print something. But the way I see it, if you're 3D printing, you're probably going to just make your whole holster instead of just little additions for this. And then I kind of, this is more for show. I really doubt I'm ever going to use it. It just kind of makes it look cool. I just wanted it to firmly hold this flashlight in here, which it, now it does. This isn't my primary one, but I just keep it on here. And a quick thing, my Leatherman needs to be sent in for repair. I was tightening a screw and the next time I went to use it this broke so I assumed just the tension of tightening which I wasn't making it like insanely tight so that's kind of disappointing and their holster is very disappointing so evidently Leatherman has a good warranty so hopefully I, they impressed me there but I'm happy with it so maybe I, I'm just rambling about nonsense but and you have your pen here and you can put anything you want in these that's just what i decided to do so we have the leatherman flashlight pen just th that little doodad there just to fill up some space and then a little bit of right in the rain and some pieces of paper in there in that nice little package i like it uh you can obviously do whatever you want but that's what i did here not the best sheet so i'm hoping it holds up and i'll get back if it doesn't uh, you know, a lot of people prefer the uh, molly ones and the nylon ones, but for me, I wanted I like the leather look, and I feel that this is a little bit better, and it's a little bit tighter. Those are more if you have the uh, the bit kit, those will hold both pieces of that. To where I don't have that, so I wanted something a little bit more compact. So hopefully, you find this interesting. Maybe you want to try something like this. These are fifteen dollars to use this sheath with a uh, little leatherman or whatever you want to set up there. So hopefully you found this enjoyable and helpful. Thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.